Okay, when I talk about the G1 phase, I said you know, the DNA uncoils, but in reality, not all the DNA uncoils itself in the uh, G1 phase. There are some DNA which remains closed, and uh, those kind of DNA are known as your know, heterochromatin, where the DNA remains closed. Okay, and you cro you chromatin is the DNA which actually opens up and lets the mRNA read the codes. Okay, now uh, it's not uh, the DNA does not have to open up. I mean, the whole stretch of the DNA does not have to open up. Only certain portions can you know, open up and then uh, uh, let the mRNA copy. Here, the, uh, the, the chromatin fiber is not visible because they unwrap and uncoil and form very thin thread-like structures. But when they coil up, they become short and distinct. That's the time when the DNA or chromosomes are visible. And the clearest vision of a chromosome appears in the M phase. Okay, now we move on here. Uh, a DNA which is you know, uncoiled as a long thread-like structure with codes and uh, coded portion and non-coded portion. Non-coded portion meaning it does not have codes for protein. Okay, and coded portions which has codes for protein. And all the colored parts are portions which contain codes for proteins. And they are called exons. And introns are those portions which does have codes, but it does not stand for, I mean, it does, it does not code for any protein at all. So that's introns. Um, <clears throat> there are times where at the end of a theory, this is called the telomere. The telomere contains repetitive forms, repetitive DNAs, codes. And uh, to signal, sometimes the telomere contains around repetitions of 2,500 times of repetition. Just to safeguard, this is the telomere. It's, it protects the DNA as it uh, moves into different cells. And it also prevents the atta attachment of another DNA onto this DNA here. So this packaging is done by the telomere. And sometimes this portion, the introns, may have different repetitions like ET, 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 ET. This is a micro repetition. And it's called my, it's, it's often found in the satellite, okay? So micro sat chromosomes. Or if the repetitions are of a long series of more than 20, you know, this segment repeated again and again, up to 50 times or more. So that repetition is called the milli sat chromosomes. Okay? Now the thing about this is each individual has a different set of repetitions. Just like different fingerprints, the repetitions of this in the introns is also uh, different. It's, uh, it can be used as fingerprinting. This is the basis for DNA fingerprinting. For DNA profile, you can say. These are the terms used. So, you know, where... Uh, What's it called? Uh, investigation where they use this uh, forensic investigation where they uh, take the DNA, the sample for blood or saliva or s scrapings of the skin or the you know or the hair, the root hair. All of that will have DNA, and they can trace the pattern of the person or the suspect and the blood samples taken. Okay, and they can nail the person by DNA. Uh, fingerprinting. Anything that I left? Okay, new chroma chromatin is the one which opens up, DNA that opens up and is ready for the mRNA to read. Sometimes it never opens up, it's called heterochromatin. And bar body. Uh, remember, in females, you have two uh, female 23rd pair. The sex chromosome has two X's. There's a X's, I mean, too much of information here. So one set of DNA does not open at all. It remains closed. Okay. 
So because it remains closed, it forms a solid structure or a, a compact structure, which is known as the bar body. From here, no body can be taken out. Only this X unwraps itself, and from here, codes are taken up by the mRNA to produce the required proteins. All right, thank you.